movie starts during World War II in Berlin, Germany. We see Hitler discussing with his coach about war and Nazis. Hitler informs his coach that he doesn't like the greeting style of Nazis. He replaces the greeting style with the old salute pattern of Nazis. In the next scene, we notice Hitler unconscious somewhere, when he restores his senses he finds himself in a park. As he looks up in the sky he couldn't see fighter planes of enemies. He assumes that they could be taking a rest. Suddenly, a ball comes and stops near him. As he gets out from the bushes, he watches a building. Meanwhile, the children come to take their ball back. Observing his bad condition, they inquire about it. He thinks they are the future of the nation. Here he asks about the way to the street. Meanwhile, we notice a news reporter Fabian recording the kids with his camera. In his video, Hitler's face was also captured. He picks up his army cap and makes up his mind to head towards Führer's bunker. As he comes across the road, Hitler gets astonished when he sees new inventions. Everyone gets surprised after seeing him. They all were taking pictures by coming near him. Actually, he was interlapping the present with wartime that has been shown at the start of the movie. Now he notices a modern car, he recollects that he has never seen such a car. He questions himself did I go into a coma? Or I missed a victory? Now Hitler realizes that he is not aware of his situation entirely and warns himself to collect more information. He inquires about the location of the chancellery from a nearby person. But the man does not answer him and starts to take a photo. Later on, Hitler notices a lady who was on a phone call conversing in German. Hitler goes to her hurriedly and inquires about the current date, but she becomes petrified and sprays into his eyes. Hitler cries in pain and goes to the nearby newspaper shop trembling. He becomes shocked when he sees the current date as October 2014 and collapses on the ground. In the next scene, the boss of a TV station Kerner appreciates Mr. Kristoff for his excellent work. But he doesn't consider Kristoff for the post of MD but makes Bellini as managing director. Watching this, Kristoff becomes shocked and disillusioned. He comes into the office and bursts his anger at a struggling filmmaker Fabian. Fabian tries to convince his boss that he'll work perfectly, but Kristoff sends him out of the office with his guards. After some time, Hitler wakes up in the newspaper shop and asks about the present date. Owner of the shop confirms it is 2014. After knowing the date, confused Hitler inquires whether he is kidnapped and doubts it is a trick played by the enemy's secret service. He threatens to kill the shopkeeper if he is working for the enemy. The shop owner doesn't understand and considers him an actor playing Hitler's character. The shop owner gives Hitler a bar of chocolate, he immediately takes and smells it. After smelling he states that this is industrially pressed grains and questions whether there is a shortage of bread. Later Hitler asks him for a newspaper but the shopkeeper gives him a Turkish newspaper. He further demands a German newspaper. But the shopkeeper says he has more Turkish customers. He is shocked when he comes to know that there are more Turkish people in Berlin. He then starts collecting information from newspapers. While reading the newspapers he accepts that they didn't win the war and Germany was placed in the hands of a graceless woman. He also realizes that Poland exists near Germany and declares if they couldn't win the war it was useless. In the next scene, Fabian was watching the video for which he was fired from the job. His mother comes there while he was watching the video, and she notices something strange. She asks to pause the video and points out Hitler in the video. Fabian becomes astonished when he sees a person resembling Hitler. In the next scene, we see Hitler in the same shop. The shop owner suggests he should wash his dress as they are stinking. Hitler goes to the laundry and asks them to wash his uniform and demands another uniform, as he couldn't remain nude, but he doesn't find another uniform. In the next scene, we see Hitler wearing jeans and a sweater. On the other hand, we see Fabian waiting for Hitler, Fabian is amazed after seeing his appearance. Fabian asks him if he could take part in the video made on modern Germany. Hitler likes this idea, Fabian takes some cash and his mother's car and leaves for his journey. Later on, we notice Hitler and Fabian taking interviews of people related to politics. After taking interviews, Hitler realizes that after his regime, 
there is less impact on democracy. He finds resentment in the people, he also recollects that the same views were expressed by the masses in the 1930s. It makes him assume that the politics of Germany wasn't still strong. Later when they arrive on a farm, a dog bites Hitler's finger. Hitler immediately shoots the dog. Fabian gets enraged and snatches his gun. Later he runs out of money and plans to make sketches drawn by Hitler to earn some money. Hitler makes funny sketches of people and they earn a lot of money. After having enough money they revive the trip. Because of Hitler, they get a lot of views on the clips which were uploaded by Fabian. Fabian again visits his office to meet Christoph. Fabian shows a video to Christoph, he becomes shocked when he sees a lot of views on that clip. He asks for his name and contact number. Later Christoph meets Hitler and he considers him mad. Christoph tells Fabian to take him away. At that very moment, Hitler enters the director's office and asks Bellini if she could join him to save Germany. Bellini gets impressed and assigns a task to Mr. Christoph to broadcast a reality show for Hitler. Christoph intentionally plans to broadcast a live comedy show for Hitler. As Hitler goes on stage and starts to speak, everyone there becomes silent. After listening to Hitler's ideas and views, the show becomes popular. Watching the show become famous, Christoph becomes furious as his plan was ruined. Later he finds the video of Hitler killing the dog. Christoph broadcasts it during the show, everyone gets shocked and it becomes a disastrous interview. Later Bellini also gets fired. Now Christoph is appointed as the director. Later Hitler compiles his second book on the 21st century with the help of Fabian and Bellini. It is named Look Who's Back which becomes the best seller of the year. Now we notice Christoph, he looks worried as his company was making a huge loss. One of his employers suggests hiring Hitler again. He agrees and starts to find Hitler. Later he makes a deal with Fabian. On the other hand, two hooligans thrash Hitler for taking Germany back. This incident makes Hitler hospitalized. After this incident, all the sympathy of Germans poured toward Hitler. In the next scene, we notice Fabian watching his old video. He gets amazed when he sees Hitler rose from where he was lying and understands that he is the real Hitler. He becomes astonished and visits the hospital hurriedly. When Hitler restores his senses he sees himself in the hospital. When Fabian reaches the hospital he finds Bellini, not Hitler. Fabian informs her that, he is the real Adolf Hitler, but she doesn't believe his words. The guards try to catch him but he runs away from them. Fabian reaches the movie studio and points his gun at Hitler. He accuses Hitler of being a monster but Hitler declares that he was chosen by the people of Germany. If I am a monster why did they vote me? Here we notice, Fabian firing Hitler on the rooftop resulting in his death. Meanwhile, Hitler appears behind Fabian. He states no one could kill me because I'm alive in the hearts of people. Actually, they enacted it for the movie. Fabian was not acting in that scene but someone else was acting like him by covering his face with a mask. Later we notice Fabian's colleague feeling sad seeing him in the mental ward. Hitler and Bellina are seen giving autographs and interviews to people after the movie's success. As they pass by a car, the people on the street seem to like Hitler and greet him with respect. Thanks for watching.